This right here is the XBOT AI Cameraman, and we're gonna unbox it and go over some of the features that this thing has to offer. So first off, the packaging is very nice for this gimbal. So we've got this right here, assuming this is a carrying case. Yep, nice little drawstring carrying case here. We have a charging cable here. We have the main gimbal itself. Feels like it's very quality. Then we've got the tripod portion, which you just screw in right down here. And you can fold that up. And you can set it down. So now let's unfold it. Perfect. So that is everything included in the box. We've got the carrying case, the charging cable, the actual gimbal itself. Then we've got the bottom tripod here. So once you guys are done charging it up, all you have to do is hold this button right here, and then it's gonna turn on. Perfect, so now it's ready to go. So this XBOT AI cameraman is mostly meant for recording sports. So when it comes to recording sports, you wanna make sure that you have it in the center of the court if it's basketball or in the center of the field, if it's soccer, and you kind of get the gist, make sure it's in the center on one of the sides. But right here it says you can also use it as a phone stabilizer. So all you need to do is download Gimbal Pro if you do want to use this thing as a phone stabilizer, which is what I'm going to be using it for. So now the next step is to put our smartphone here onto the gimbal itself. We're going to tap this button here in order to make it horizontal. Perfect. So here's the manual and all you have to do is scan the QR code and then you'll be able to download the app. So here's the user manual on where you should have your camera positioned and how to set it up and all of those things you're going to need to know to get this thing up and running. So this gimbal right here is meant to be an automatic tracking gimbal for sports. So this thing is pretty cool and pretty feature packed. We're just going to turn it on quick. There you go. Click that button again to go on horizontal. So as you guys can see, this thing would be a great option for vlogging as well. And it's gonna stabilize your footage very good when you're using it. Or there's all kinds of settings in the actual app like follow mode, walking mode, FPV mode, so much more to this gimbal. But if you guys end up grabbing one of these gimbals for yourselves, all you gotta do is do a little bit of digging, kinda learn the app, learn the gimbal itself, and then you'll be good to go. So if you guys grab one of these, I don't think you'll be disappointed. They're great for sports, vlogging, and video creation. So whether you're into sports recording or just content creation, it'll be a great choice to grab one of these.